Welcome to my store. Okay, so we're going to put one of the octopus in uh, this tank down here, and we're going to put another one upstairs. The one upstairs is already set up. Yeah, yeah, I set it up a couple of days ago. So this is how you set up a fish tank instantly that you can put the critters in. You have a fish tank already, that's the requirement. Or you have a friend with a fish tank already, uh, they'll give you his water and part of his filter. Now in here, this has the bio wheel, so of course this isn't active at all, it's dry. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll set it up and then I'm going to take some of the free filter off of the system because it's dirty enough that uh, it's been around for a while, it's got lots of bacteria. And one of these octopus will go inside of it. thing is, because the octopus can make themselves as tiny as possible, we have to put tape over that yeah. tiny hole because he We're can gonna get We're going to put out. tape on that and tape on here. Huh? That way you won't escape. And we might even put a rock on the lid at first just to be paranoid because I don't think they'll lift it up, but they can't. If they, if they think they can, they will. If they don't know they can, they might not. Like if you put them inside of a glass jar, they can open the glass they jar. They can unscrew it. What are you doing? Looking at them. They're so cool. He's just looking up at me. Uh, they're one of the smarter things in the ocean. Uh, although I guess we're smarter because we caught them. Ha 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 In my head. I'm hilarious. Yeah. He's predictable too. He's heard my lines before. It's Dad's okay. refugium. Well, we're waiting for that. Uh, you might as well put the paint tips away. Oh, I want to go to the other side. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, there's three. Four, five. Six. Seven. Now you can also see that there's this, and this is ketomorph algae. I, yeah. You put it in your refugium, and it helps. Well, you see, it doesn't, uh, like the tangs don't seem to like to eat it. It doesn't put any toxins into your water, and it doesn't crash like um, Calerpa does. Because sometimes Calerpa will just crash, and it'll turn transparent, and it'll rot in matter of day. And this grows really fast. What are you doing? I'm trying to get the anemones off the bottom of the pail because there's a kind of suction cup. So you've got to kind of pry your fingers very gently. <laughs> what? I missed. What did you do? i with the, uh, the boxer tabs. But then that's okay because boxer crabs actually carry anemones in their claws. Like that's what they're waving around in the air is anemones. That's why they're also called pom poms because the anemones look like they're holding pom poms. You've got to be very careful. Don't uh, try to force them. Just gently, gently fry them off. This is like a suction cup. If you get your finger underneath the uh, suction will break. But of course I've lost count. There's more than 20, we know that. Yeah, but you didn't take your shoes off, so we're not how, sure how accurate you are. Shut up. Okay, well, we'll climb up and look. So, one, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Told you. Yeah, but my boy's been wrong that one time. Remember? No. You don't remember the one time you were wrong? No. Oh, yeah, look, the starfish. You're climbing out. 
making a break for it. Yeah. Well, he has nowhere to go but down. So before he absconds, put him back in. But see how the octopus are in there? Alrighty, so when we can actually put stuff in said tank, we will show you.